Nice costume. Who are you supposed to be? Half of the people here are some kind of puppet salesman. I suppose he's the trend this year. If I never hear the word Gromer again, it will be too soon. But you don't seem to follow the rest of the crowd. Too loud in there? <laughs> oh, don't be coy. I can tell. Why else would you be out in the freezing cold? Also, you've been ever so imperceptibly at the sound of the bass. Let me take a wild guess. You wanted a quiet evening of watching scary movies while you ate out of the bowl of candy you pretend to be for the trick-or-treaters. And your friend wanted a real party. You politely declined, but your friend insisted they take you because... When are you going to start living? Extroverts, hmm? They never understand the value of a little intimate encounter. As for me, I enjoy both. But there's something I adore about being with myself. Tell you what, this party has had enough of me. And you've had enough of the party by the look on your face. So, a proposal. I have a penthouse suite at the top floor. Why don't we have our own Halloween party? Perhaps we can find a horror story to your preference we can both enjoy. I'll be waiting for the elevator, my dear. Going up? For a moment, I doubted you'd take up my invitation. I could fly in there. But this dress frowns on wind damage. What am I dressed as? Darling, I don't have to dress for Halloween. Tonight is the night for creatures such as I. After you. Alone at last. Don't worry about the camera. The guard downstairs is a bit occupied with other affairs tonight. Do you know what's fun about elevators? The imposed closeness. Such a tiny space has little room for personal space. It makes something a bit more intimate, inevitable. Don't put on a brave face. You've been freezing all night. My ears pick up on so many tiny clues. The slight friction of your clothes. The ache of your capillaries near your cheeks. It almost makes a lady want to press clothes. And... Don't look scared. I'll respect your boundaries, unless you prefer I don't. I may be a vampire, but I am not rude. Top floor. Luxurious penthouses. Silken curtains. Warm company. After you, darling. I 
could use a more complex cocktail than the unimaginative soda and alcohol they were offering at the party. I do enjoy a little carbonated sugar from time to time, but you are what you eat. You care for a drink? Hope you don't mind if I get a little creative. I call this a faint kiss. We start with... Uh, oh, one quarter cup of pomegranate juice. I'd juice a fresh one, but we'll be here all night. So I keep a bottle on hand. And some spare arrows. Now, one and a half ounces of bourbon. A half ounce of raspberry liquor. Any would do, but I personally enjoy a good shampoo. A teaspoon of maple syrup. Not that cheap drivel they make out of corn. <laughs> And juice from half a lemon. One moment. Careful to get no seeds into the mixer. Now, a shake. It's amusing, really. We veins pride ourselves in our control and our power. But we can't resist the instincts of a gracious host. Spend enough time in a cold, empty manner, and you learn to appreciate a blundering guest or two. One last touch. A few pomegranate arrows in the drink, and one large ice cube. Let the ice cube chill the drink before you take a sip. Hmm? I love the modern world. My family was far too interested in retaining their gothic roots. They call it legacy. I call it antiquated. I come from a very, very long line of dads. They had names for what my family was called in the past. Possibly the earliest was... Dynasty. Generations of powerful figures, movers and shakers who treated the world like their personal playground. But the world moved on past kings and bourgeois bloodlines. It's all corporate money and heirs to cereals and hotels now. My parents, my grandparents, my great-grandparents. All powerful and important people. At least they were in their time. Now, the name is left with me and my brother. They try to raise us both to continue the family legacy. But we had different hungers than that of our ancestors. They crave fame and fortune, legacy and politics. Vincent craves art. I crave me. You know what I mean. Of course you do. You took my invitation. You came here, responding to all my red flags with taciturn indifference. I understand. You crave my attentions. You crave me. I promise you, your fixation is dwarfed by mine. When I see others, I rarely see them as they are. I infer what they could be, but a touch of me. Oh, don't retreat. I like this. I can just imagine you lost in my gaze, eyes fading into 
pulls a friend. Thanks for replacing your tiny canines. My luxurious fur burying your identity underneath my own. Until you are nothing less than my thrall. Little else on your mind than my satisfaction. My identity drown in it, drown in me. We have a name for throat like you. A family. <laughs> You're tempted. I can taste it. Themlings are my favorite kind of toy. Matching my features, possessing a singular obsession with me. And a voracious demeanor not unlike my own. As time goes on, more and more of me spreads over them. My ears, my pointed nose, my wings. Eventually, if they are loyal enough, devoted enough, they'll have the honor of becoming me. That's why they call me a living meme, an identity vampire. Your memories will fade, your interests eclipsed by my own, and soon, there is only me. Still tempted to stay? You know, it could be fun sometime. I bring my veilings over. They smother you in affection as your gaze locks with mine. And we see how slow a transformation can truly be. Make it a sensual meticulous nirvana that you won't ever forget until I make you and then it's all you know cozy just the way I like it I don't want to make you a family not yet instead I want to savor this arm let you narrow your sight down to my blue fur, like warm flesh enveloping you. Is that better to feel me holding you close, giving your neck a tender lick, as if I could feed on you right now? This moment forever if I did. Or would one of us be burdened to carry in this delectable sliver in time? I'd gladly take the responsibility. It's not like I haven't before. Each memory of replacing the spark of individuality with the pale blue flame of Miss Vem rings out like the jingle of a thousand charms on a bracelet. You'd be just another tinkling of metal in my collection. Mm. I can smell how you ache for me to do it. 
But I don't want to spoil this moment. I haven't gotten someone to listen like this without my gaze in quite a while. The chase is often too quick, so... I want to try something. Don't worry, I'll refrain from using my gaze. For now. I can hear the pulse quicken at such a notion. You're tempted. But no, I want to try something else. Mm. Let me slide onto your lap. Drape my arms over your shoulders. And press my nose to yours. There. Comfortable? Now, close your eyes and think as I speak. Oh, my mind is yours. I can feel your will seep into mine and dominate every inch of my being. My fur is blue for you. My chest swells with the need to tend your every whim. Please, let me sing. Let me show you how old I am. I will serve. I will obey. I will be an extension of everything you pray for me to be. Till all I am left with is what you desire. Yes, Miss Fame. Yes, Miss Fame. Shh, shh, settle please. No movements. I am not done. Listen to my words carefully. Let them become your words. Your thoughts. That's not so bad. Hmm? Oh, yes, Miss Vigan. It's a wonderful experience to feel my body shift and transform into your image. Ears stretching tall and wide. I can hear your pulse. I feel my wings spread. Heartbeat slowly synchronizing. So I can feel your will replace mine. Let it happen. Let me serve. Let me caress your fur. Take away the worries and stress. I'm yours. I'm owned. I am. I drink it in your collection. Oh, what a bit of fun. I normally use my gaze for such a thing, but sometimes slithering ideas into someone's ears is plenty of fun too. Did you enjoy or are you aching for my gaze? <laughs> Perhaps the next time we meet, I'll bring some of my veinlings to pamper you as I whisper into your ear again. Or maybe I'll just skip the foreplay. I enjoyed you, little guest. Maybe I'll play with you some more in the future. There won't be much fun in making you a vamling now. Better to tease and tempt you over time till I get to enjoy my fill on the big day. Make it last. Until then, sleep. Ah, no, no thought, no squirming. Sleep. Trace little circles in the air with your nose as I do with mine. Let the red fill your vision. Sleep. Just fantasize me. Only me. Only Miss Vame. 
Sleep 